Skating Washboard Resonators and today's video is all about washboards and trying to give you some advice on what to look for when you're buying a musical washboard. Um, and towards the end of this video I'll give you some recommendations on ones that I would advise but first of all we're going to go through a few of the boards I've got and kind of give you some tips. So if you look at an actual washboard the frame of it is essentially all the same. It's like a solid wood frame that's all put together in the same way with a board, a playing surface, washing surface, about the same size. The only things that kind of differ are the backs of them. Some of them have a solid back, like these two have, or some of them have slats on the back, like this one, or some of them have nothing at all on the back. And I think, I guess it'll probably be easy with money or how well it's put into the frame without those slats, but um, I don't think it really matters that much affects the sound of it. It's just what the manufacturer like to do, basically. So we talk about the actual playing surfaces. Playing, keeps me playing. Playing, washing surface. There's, I think there's like three different kinds, basically. There's a copper, which I've got two of here. This one's kind of ionised and serious. It's very thin metal and it's very, it's quite soft and quiet as far as washboards go, which can be good or bad. I tend to put a mic on it so you can, so I can put it, you know, it doesn't matter how loud it is. But uh, if you don't need a mic, then maybe you want a slightly harder playing surface. Um, the other ones, this was a thin, I think this is nickel on steel. This is my very first one I got. You can see I wore through it. Um, so that's, I believe that's nickel on there anyway. This one again, so this is just a normal steel, no nickel on it. This is a national one out there. And yeah, that's the three sides, copper, nickel, and just steel. Um, hopefully you'll find, find this, video, this video useful, so please uh, subscribe to us and ring the bell if you want to find some more information on them. Now the size of them, they're all pretty much the same. The plain surface, these are what you call like family washboards. So it's like what you'd use to wash everyone's clothes. You can get, some of them have slightly longer legs and things, but the actual playing surface is about the same. You can get different um, sizes, like if you want a smaller, smaller ones for pails, um, if you had a smaller pail to wash your clothes in and wash your, wash your delicates. Um, but most of them are the same size, and I think most of the ones you're buying, musical ones, will be this size or listed if they're smaller. Another main difference on the actual playing surface, so the ridges of them, they have these ones are quite shallow and quite simple. Now they're, they're, they were so again when actually used for clothes, it makes sense of like a simple surface that was used to get lighter stains out. Or if you've got very heavily soiled clothes and your rougher surface has got extra grooves in it, this is a proper national washboard from the National Washboard Company. Um, so I don't think the sat the the complex service or the more simple service. I don't think. It makes a massive difference in sound. It really depends on the player, because after all, these weren't designed as instruments. Remember, they were as utensils. So I don't think it really matters which one you get, but it's just something to be aware of that those those different ones exist. Um, Quality-wise, they're all much over muchness. I think it's the the thinness and thickness of the metal depends how they're built to last. I guess I would say that the branded quality boards that have a name and manufacturer are probably better made. Like you can certainly tell on some of mine this very thin one isn't particularly well made. Um, whereas some of the one that's someone like this that's natural it made as an instrument is much better made. But it all depends on how how much you're gonna play it and if you get how much you're gonna look after it. Is it gonna case, is it gonna get chucked around? Or you can even make one or pick another one up. So like it's I think it's all to do with budget, how much you want to spend on one really which segues me perfectly into budget, which I think is what's important about when you're trying to, when you buy a washboard. If you don't want to spend too much, then I am like I have all mine at cheaper secondhand ones that I got on, on eBay or at car boot sales or antique markets, anything like that. And I did it, I don't, I don't really want to pay any more than like 30 pounds for a board, this is my own arbitrary figure, but that's what I think. And then I get all, get all the bits in yeah the similar places, charity shops and things like that. And you can make it what you want and put things onto it, which is what I like about the instrument. They're very unique in that way. However, if you've got more money to spend or you want to kind of get one that's ready done and, and probably better quality, there's two I'd recommend, two, well, two companies I'd recommend. So this company called Cincinnati Washboards, who are based out in Brazil. 
and they've managed to make these really cool boards actually they put a lot of effort into how it looks and the aesthetics of it but it comes with a strap to go over you it comes with thimbles and it comes with a bell on it that i've actually used in the, on something else and it also comes with a cool hessian bag so um they are looking to like, they're relatively expensive i think you're looking about 150 odd quid for any of these kind of like music proper branded musical washboards but then it cut, you can get all the traps to go on it from them as well, and it's beautifully made. They're even like serial numbered, so like it's cool to see this is an actual instrument, whereas they're not a utensil. So that's the first one I recommend. And the other ones are Columbus washboards. Now, this is a national one, but they were the competition back in the day. So Columbus washboards have been going since like 1890 or something like that, and they're still made today, mostly for washing clothes still. Um, but they do a musical one, but I can, I haven't. I haven't played ones, I can't vouch for it, but I imagine the quality is going to be good because they're made to, to last and continue to last. So hopefully that gives you some advice on what you're looking for and trying to find a musical washboard. I think they're your two options and then it's your playing surfaces and whether you want to add bits onto it or not really. So hopefully you find that helpful and we'll see you in the next video.